When you have a grey and a blue, which are the staple of any gentleman wardrobe, you can really start to choose. It's a world of possibilities, and the subject is you. And this is why it's becoming very, very interesting. So when you go to your third suit as an, let's say, an intermediate level on your sartorial learning curve, uh, you might be, I bet, you will be intrigued by one type of suit, and uh, which is the suit uh, which is worn with a vest, as you say in America, or a waistcoat, if they say in Great Britain, or a gilet, if we say in France. In my personal case, I decided to give three pieces a chance. And I never regretted it. Why? Because when you go for a three-piece suit, all of a sudden, first of all, in terms of stylistic statement, you go in another world. Do you see often people wearing a waistcoat or a vest in your everyday life? No, sir. Do you see even in some formal occasion? Mm, a little bit. But wearing a waistcoat when you go to your office or when you go to a dinner, it's an immediate, and even if it's a very discreet suit, it gives you another level of flair. You would become intriguing for the people because I said, look at this man, he's wearing a vest. In my case, I decided to go um, for a Unstuth three-piece suit, but I went a little bit further than the normal three-piece suit because I decided to do a double-breasted vest. And a double-breasted vest, first of all, is um, quite difficult to find in ready-to-wear. That's the downside of it. It's not very usual to find it. You will find quite easily a single-breasted vest uh, of the rack, uh, but you may have to go make two measure if you can, because a double-breasted vest makes a huge difference. But let's say a vest. You will discover the first time you will put a gilet on, it's a, it's a fantastic sensation. You understand that you put a, a second skin above your shirt and then you put a jacket on top of it. That immediately you, you, you become bulletproof. But you become bulletproof maybe on, 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 on the first sense of the term. I mean, you have a, <laughs> another layer of fabric, but you also become, I would say, spiritually bulletproof. Because when you put on a, a waistcoat and you walk in the street, you immediately raise yourself above your own self. You reach another level of elegance. You reach another level of stylistic statement. Be warned. If you can't take comments of people speaking behind your back, uh, you should maybe wait a little bit, because this is a piece that will create discussion. This is a piece that will create some comments. This is a piece that will create some, a lot of compliments. It's a very romantic piece of clothing. What image we have of a three-piece suit? We have image of Fred Astaire, of Cary Grant, of, um, of Gary Cooper. Gary Cooper was an expert in the three-piece suit. Um, um, you remember all the, the 1940s, 1950s Hollywood uh, golden era. The three-piece was a kind of a staple for every man in the street. So it has a kind of a, it gives a kind of glamour to your outfit that not any other suit will give to you. And it has a second advantage. You can wear it in three different manners. You can wear it, of course, as a three-piece, a jacket, a pant, and a waistcoat. You can wear it only a jacket and a pant, but also you can wear it without the jacket, only the waistcoat. And believe me, okay, people will just make fun of you saying, you look like a Wall Street golden boy when you have your, your, um, your three-piece uh, suit but you don't wear the jacket. Well, who cares? It's a stylistic statement and it's a very versatile suit. So, if you are on this sartorial path and you can take the comment of the people because people will talk about your three-piece suit, I would advise that you also give three-piece a chance. So now we have a grey suit, a blue suit and a three-piece. I think it's time to consider another staple of any gentleman wardrobe, which is a sport jacket. So, first of all, let me clarify 
specifically for the young generation, what we call a sport jacket. We're not talking about the jacket to, 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 to wear when you do sports. We are talking about the odd jacket. That is to say, a jacket that can be worn uh, above a pair of jeans, above a chino, above any kind, uh, about a flannel trousers. Uh, it's, it's, it's a jacket that is existing by, by, by herself. We call it sport because back in the years, in the British, you know, because the British have uh, pretty much invented the modern suit, as you know. It's difficult, it's still difficult for us, for French to accept that, but it's the truth. Um, they used to go uh, to go to see cricket games, and this this was the only moment that it was acceptable not to wear a totally coordinated uh, garment. So this is why we call it a sport jacket because it was um, it was uh, the people, the gentlemen, were able to wear it in a more casual way. But it can still can be extremely elegant. The wisest choice as a sport jacket should be for you to um, acquire a blazer which is an absolute staple in any gentleman wardrobe. Every blazers are odd jackets, but not every odd jacket are blazers. A blazer is a very specific kind of odd jacket. It's most of the time blue or bluish, even if nowadays you can find different colors, but most of the time it's blue. And most of the time he has some golden or silver, but shiny buttons. Um, because a blazer originally is more for boating. It's, it's, it has been created in this idea of outside activity related with water, with the sea. So this is why we call it a blazer. You, you all have in mind. Uh, you've seen your father probably or your grandfather wearing a blazer. It's extremely versatile, it's ex extremely classical, but a well-cut single or double-breasted blazer is a safe bet. If you live in a country where it's cold during um, the winter, or you have a lot of outdoors activity, uh, more like a tweed jacket, for example, can be an extremely safe choice for um, your first sport jacket. But once again, so there's no ideal sport jacket. There's as many sport jackets as there are gentlemen. It's, it really, really depends on your taste, on your way of life, on the weather of the area where you live. And if you travel a lot, for example, you can go for a travel jacket. What is a travel jacket? It's a jacket with a maximum of pockets. This is a very fun garment. It's a sport jacket. I think some tailors managed to put 17 pockets in a single uh, sp um, um, traveling jacket, travel jacket. So you have a gray suit, you have a blue suit, you have a three-piece suit, and you have a jacket. We can say that at this very moment, when you reach this, you have a wardrobe. It doesn't mean you have a superlative wardrobe with a lot of choices, but believe me, if you choose, if you have an, uh, like five to 10 shirts and five to 10 ties, believe me, it's just mathematical. You can start to have probably, I would say, 35 to 40 different outfits. And people will not even notice that you are wearing the same suit as two days ago because you pair it differently. So if you have those four staples, you are covered. You really start to have a gentleman's wardrobe.